All right, let's talk about old Joe Biden, because that whole insurrection thing that I just talked about, that insurrection thing, uh, was about the election of Joe Biden. And uh, 81 million people, that's what they told us, uh, voted for Joe Biden. That's an awful lot of people. It's actually the most people that ever voted for a president in the history of the United States. And if you don't remember, the second most people that ever voted for a president of the United States were Donald Trump in the exact same election. He got about 75 million votes, according to what they tell us. And I don't want to be kicked off YouTube for even saying that some of that may be a little fudged. I don't know. Um, but... Biden's approval numbers are absolutely in the tank right now. We've got a tweet here from Tom Bevin. Biden job approval in a new Quinnipiac poll is 33% among adults and just 25% with independents. Among registered voters, it's 35%. I mean, this is extraordinarily low. Like, this is like just like bananas low. And if you think about it, think how soft the media has been on him, right? There's really no criticism of Joe Biden in mainstream media. Really just try to think for a second. Has NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, all the usual suspects, have they done anything really critical of him? Guy, you know, he was gonna shut down the virus then two weeks ago, oh no, there's nothing I can do, kick it back to the States, which by the way is what the orange guy wanted the entire time. Like, he has failed at every possible level. We're at about 10%, I think it's 9.7% inflation right now. And it's like, that, that is an incredibly high number. People don't realize, that means in essence, you have 10% less money, right? If you have 500 bucks and inflation goes up by 10%, you're losing 50 bucks. Now you got 450 bucks, in essence. The number in your bank account may be the same, but it doesn't have the same value. Like, we know that the thing ain't working. That's what it sounds like, Joe Biden. You know, man, the thing ain't working, okay. well. It ain't working, and even here in Florida, where things are pretty damn good, you can see some of the residual stuff related to uh, supply chain. We went into two targets to buy some stuff for our new house. We needed some plates, just temporarily, while our stuff comes from LA, we need some plates, a couple other things, and there were a lot of barren shelves. There really were. Not like massively, massively empty here. Florida's obviously doing a better job moving some stuff, and they're getting people to work. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't perfect here. But 33% is extraordinarily low, especially for a guy that you know got these 81 million votes. People are actually waking up despite the media protecting the guy. And of course, you would just have to contrast that with how the media treated Orange Man, who I'm pretty sure, Michael, maybe you could check on this, what was Donald Trump's lowest ever approval rating? I think it floated around 40%, despite endless attacks on him. Right? So the media was always going after Trump, and I think he floated around 40%. Now you've got Biden around 33%, despite like some pretty great coverage. So I'll see if we can get that number in just a sec. But I thought, you know what? We played this clip yesterday uh, where we contrasted some of uh, Ron DeSantis's state of the state speech with some of Joe Biden's best hits. And as we were putting together the compilation of Joe Biden, we watched the full corn pop video. You all remember the corn pop video, Joe Biden at the pool talking about the thing. Well, we watched it and I was like, you know, we have to show this full video to people. It's so insane. It's just so absolutely insane. And this moment, this two or so minute video that we're about to show you, this should have derailed his entire thing. People should have watched this video and said this man is clinically insane and should not be president. Let's go. I learned a lot. And I learned that uh, it makes a difference. This was the diving board area, and I was one of the guards, and there were a lot of, there was a three meter board. And if you fell off sideways, you landed on the damn, uh, the darn cement over there. <laughs> and Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did, yeah, he, and back in those days, to show how things have changed, one of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. My car, this was mostly, these were all public housing behind it. My car, there was a gate out here. I parked my car outside the gate. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? He said, come down here in the basement where mechanics, where, where, where all the pool f f filter is. You know, the chain, there used to be a chain that went across 
the deep end. And he cut off a six foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. I said, you kidding me? He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain and I walked up to my car and they had they, in those days used to remember the straight race. You'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. And I looked at him, but I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you get off the board, you get off the board. And I'll kick you out again. But I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. I apologize. But I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that. Not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, OK, close the straight razor. And my heart began to beat again. I hope you enjoyed that, because as many times as I've seen it, it makes less sense each time. And as a matter of fact, I thought, let's play a little game with this thing. If any of you, within three sentences, can explain what Joe Biden was saying right there, I will give you $500. That's what I'm going to commit to doing. If you can explain that in a sane, functional, non-jokey, non-sarcastic way, if you can tell me what Joe Biden was saying there, with the roaches and the leg hair and corn pop and the cement, et cetera, et cetera, I will give you 500 American dollars. You can submit your <laughs> explanations at rubenreport.locals.com.